today we are going to have a look on freely falling body yes every body uh, which is taken to some height and if you leave the body or if you drop the body that will be a freely falling body if you leave any body at certain height uh, if it will uh, fall down it will come down with an acceleration the acceleration is due to the uh, earth's gravity so every body will be a freely falling body if it is uh, left at certain height so if you consider this ball uh, if i drop the ball here then this will be a freely falling body reason is it is lifted to some height from the ground so if you leave the body it will be a freely falling body that means it will move with an acceleration the acceleration is due to earth's gravity see so this is a freely falling body and now uh, now let us see some uh, physical quantities such as the time taken by the freely falling body and the final velocity of the freely falling body now if you consider a certain height see here i am considering this as a some building uh, which, which is having some height it is having some height h and if a body is dropped from the top of the building so initial velocity of the body will be zero the body is dropped from the top of the building the initial velocity of the body will be zero and here the body displacement the body is traveling some displacement the displacement is equal to the height of the building and it will move with an acceleration so acceleration is nothing but the acceleration due to gravity g and here after reaching the ground if it touches the ground the velocity of the body is zero if it touches the ground it will come to rest so the velocity of the body will be zero but what will take as final velocity here this initial velocity is zero final velocity we will consider that before touching the ground before one sec before touching the ground one sec is taken as the final velocity so it will be not zero it will have some value so let us consider the two situations here uh, the time taken by the body which is dropped from a uh, top of the building which is having a height h first if you take time time taken time taken by a body to reach ground time taken by the body to reach ground is in this situation if you consider uh, the displacement displacement equation we have s equal to ut plus half at square so by this equation s is nothing but h so height h equal to initial velocity is zero for a freely falling body or a dropping body so this will become zero and half acceleration is nothing but that is due to gravity of earth so g and time t square so h equal to half g t square we need the time taken by the body to reach ground to reach the ground how much time the body takes so t square equal to 2h upon g and time t equal to root over 2h by g so this is the time taken by the body to reach the ground and now let us see the final velocity what we will consider final velocity it will reach the ground if it touches the ground it will come to rest the body will come to rest we have to consider a, a second before touching the ground so that will be the final velocity final velocity of body before reaching the ground for reaching ground that means before touching the ground the body will have some velocity so that will be our final velocity so
So to know the final velocity of the body, v square minus u square equal to 2as. So this is the equation. And here, v square, here initial velocity for a freely falling body is 0. So this term will become 0. So v square equal to acceleration is due to gravity 2g h where displacement is h and by this v equal to root over 2g h so this is the final velocity of the body before touching the ground and now if you consider the height of the building the, i am considering the height of the building is 20 meter the building is having a height 20 meter so let us see the time taken by the body if a body is dropped from a 20 meters height of a building. So time t equal to root over 2 height is 20 meter. So 2 into 20 upon gravity we know the small g value that is 9.8 meter per second square or the approximate value we can consider as 10. So I am taking 10 here. So we will get 2 into 20, 40 upon 10, 0, 0 cancel. So 4 by 1, 4. So root 4 is 2 seconds. So the body will take 2 seconds to reach the ground. If the body is left free or dropped from a building of 20 meters height. And in the same way, if you consider the velocity, final velocity of the body, which is left from the 20 meter side of the building. So, V will be equal to root over 2 into gravity, take it as 10 and height 20. So, we will get 20, 2 is 40, 10. So, we will get a, a root over 400 and this can be written as 100 into 4 or 100 root in the sense 10, 4 root in the sense 2. So, 10 to 20 meter per second. So, the body will have a final velocity of 20 meter per second. Here, the body initially it is having 0 meter per second. The time it taken to reach ground is 2 seconds. And the final velocity before touching the ground is 20 meter per second. So, this is about the freely falling body which is left from a a top of a building which is having a height h thank you